Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Gill and you're watching How To Hollywood. Today I have the wonderful Kelly Baker. You may know her as Kelly Baker Brows, the brow queen of Hollywood. We are going to show you how to get A-list brows. She has celebrity clients like Zendaya, Khloe Kardashian, Shay Mitchell, Fifth Harmony, all the girls. All the girls of Hollywood, the yes. list goes on. So if you guys wanna learn how to recreate Kelly's A-list brows, then please keep watching. The most important part of filling in your brows is always to use a highlighter. Most important part, okay. okay? Okay. So what we're gonna do, we have two ways of doing it. Typically, people will just draw right underneath, mm -hmm. um, but I have learned a new trick that makes it super easy for you guys. You're gonna take your smudge brush, and you're gonna take your highlighter, and we're just gonna do one little swipe Ooh. right in the tip of the highlighter pencil, and we're gonna go right underneath your brow with a smudge brush, and it's just gonna create a nice line and basically the whole point of it is to lift your brows and brighten up the eye area. But it's a really cool trick because whether a woman has um, makeup on or no makeup on, it's an easy way just to give you an instant little pick-me-up. So like in between visits, it will cover up your brow hair so it makes it look like they're not extra furry. So we're just gonna smudge it right up to the hairline and this is actually gonna make your brows look fuller and more defined. Why use a smudger brush versus like an angled brush or something? Because it's gonna give you that nice extra definition. A lot of times people don't realize that if you just use the highlighter, yeah. you're not gonna get that nice line. Okay. So you could draw it on and you could smudge it in with your fingers, but you're not gonna get that pop that everyone's looking for. So now we're gonna go into the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use a blonde powder and my angle brush on her. We're gonna take one tap. That is all we need. And we're gonna go right on the inside of the brow, right where the brow hits that highlighter line, very, very soft. I like to tell everyone less is more. And you'll see it start to build. You can already see it's starting to fill up. And this is blonde. Okay. Now you have beautiful blonde hair and your brows are darker, which I do like. I like that everyone's brows tend to be a shade darker, mm -hmm. but the way to make them look natural when you fill them in is to by using a shade lighter. Oh, okay. So you have brown brows, but yeah. I'm using blonde to make them look like they belong to you. Oh. I like that. Nice trick. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my smudge brush and just kind of clean up the top part of the line just a little bit. So you guys can also use this as an eraser if you need to smooth out any area. And remember, it is art. It's never gonna be totally perfect. What's the difference between you doing like a regular brow, someone coming in, versus doing a brow for a red carpet? Typically for a red carpet, we'll do a little bit more makeup. Yeah. Um, just because they will be, you know, photographed. Mm-hmm. So, but it also just depends on the client and what their look is. Shay Mitchell, yes. say she's getting ready for a red carpet and Patrick Taw's her makeup artist. Yes. He hates doing brows. He does. Do you go in and help him do the brows and then leave? It kind of depends on the situation. Um, Patrick actually introduced me to Shay mm -hmm. and to a handful of my celeb clients. He's the best. Amazing. And basically what he does is introduces me to his clients so I can do the brows yeah. and then, you know, makes his <laughs> so life so much easier. Yeah, so much easier. Yeah. Um, so it just kind of depends on what the event is and okay. if I'm around. Lately I've been doing some work with the Kardashians and it's fun because I'll show up and Patrick's there. Yeah. So I'm doing Patrick's brows, <laughs> their brows, everyone's, everyone's brows. brows. It's a whole brow party oh, glam fun. team. So now we're just doing the same thing. Again, we're using the blonde powder. And you guys can see how soft and natural her brows look. They just open up her eyes. And that is pretty much it. We highlighted with the light highlighter mm -hmm. to lift the brow bone. Yeah. And we filled it in with the blonde powder. And they look fab. Oh my gosh, look she at you. Done. You work your magic so quick. I, you know, <laughs> I try. So I wanna know, how did you get started in brows? I first started off doing makeup, then went to beauty school and was taught how to do brows. And I'm also a Virgo perfectionist. Oh, a lot okay. of you guys have heard this. <laughs> so straight lines is like pretty much my thing. So yeah. once I learned how to do it, I was like, I got this, like this is easy for me. Yeah. So and that was it, and that was 15 years ago. You have your salon yep. in Venice yep. on Abbot Kinney. And wow. I started in Beverly Hills. So okay. I got lucky and started in a really cool place with some really cool people. Tell me someone you really enjoy working with that you maybe started out with. 
like early on. I think my longest right now has both been Shay Mitchell and Zendaya. The one, the only person that I allowed to touch my brows because they are the most important thing on my face. I've been working with both of them for about four years. Okay. So it's been really cool to see how much they've grown. I mean, they've already been famous for quite some yeah. time, but I mean, even before, you know, I met Zendaya, I have a little boy and we used to watch her on TV. Oh. And I started to see her brows start to change, like she was messing with them. So I was like, oh my God, one day I need to do her brows. And then I met her. Um, we just celebrated her 21st birthday, yes, which was super awesome. Um, I love them. I love everyone, but it's been it's been a fun ride. And now, brow queen, like everybody wants Kelly Baker brows. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, it's become a look yeah. and it's recognized, so. And you have your own line. What was it I like creating that? Yeah. Well, again, the Virgo and me, you know, it, <laughs> unless it's perfect, you guys will never see it. Um, my whole goal was to make sure that everyone at home can do it themselves. Yeah. That's all that I really care about. Um, and of course, if you guys want to shop, it's available at kellybakerbrows.com. Three shades, blonde brown, dark brown. That way it covers every skin tone, every ethnicity. Yeah. Anyone that walks in the building or sits in my chair, I can take care of and they're happy. I just wanted to thank you so much for being here. Thank you. This was so quick and everyone can do it themselves. Yes. So if you guys have any questions for us, make sure to comment down below. If you have any questions on any more tips and tricks that Kelly can do, I will shoot them her way. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye, Bye. guys.